Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing something slightly different. I'm on this protocol called GAPS, um, which is helping me control my ulcerative colitis. And so I thought it would be quite nice to do a video of how I make stuff. So today I'm going to be making some bread and you can change it so you can make it more like your own or you can just like change it in different ways and add in what you want but this is just like the basic recipe and you can also make pizza and muffins with this recipe as well um, actually I'm going to slightly change the recipe from what's in the book just because it just tastes quite nice as bread um, so that's what I'm going to be doing today so let's get started also I've never done one of these videos before so um, hopefully this will work but who knows hey so let's get started I've got some uh, ingredients, obviously. Uh, so the ingredients I'm going to be using are coconut flour, ground almonds, coconut oil, and some eggs. So I've got a bowl. Get a bowl. And oh, you need cups. This is in cups. Cups. I need this one. Cups. What we're going to do first is do. Two cups of ground almonds. Got my ground almonds here, and I'm just gonna do two cups. So two cups of ground almonds. So I buy ground almonds usually online on Amazon because they're, they're quite expensive anyway. Because um, nuts are, but uh, um, on Amazon they're cheaper. So that's two cups in there. Half a cup of coconut flour. So coconut flour like absorbs um, the eggs. So I add in another egg, and this is half a cup, half a cup of coconut flour in with the ground almonds. And then we're done with those two. So I'll show you the mixture at the moment. So at the moment it looks a bit like this. Um, so you can see the ground almonds towards the back and then the um, coconut flour at the front. And we need a bread loaf tin as well, which I forgot to mention. So one of these. Uh, this is a pound one, which I feel like does quite a nice size because the bread's quite dense anyway. Before we move on to anything else, I'm just going to grab some butter and grease the, the side of the bread thing. You can watch me. Just gonna grab some grease proof paper. Oh. That will actually fit in there. I'm pretty sure scissors always go missing in our house. <laughs> right, let's do this. There it is, fine. Okay, right. Now we're done with this. Put it back where it came And I'm just gonna grease the red tin with some butter. Actually, I might just cut them. So I've just put a bit of butter in the bottom. I'm just going to spread it around with greaseproof paper. Um, and do the sides as well because it can get stuck to the sides. So it's like you're making a cake but slightly different. Um, and then I'm going to cut out another bit of paper and put it in so it's literally like I'm making a cake but make sure the sides are full as well of it. Uh, so I've got a bit, bit that was previously cut out by me here. Yeah. Um, so just measure your your bread tin and I usually just just shove it in um, in an orderly fashion okay um nearly there with it actually okay so once it's in just make sure the night sides are like folded neatly so it looks 
kind of neat like this. Uh, I just find it works with the bread going in, it's, it's like smoother. Okay, before we start, I forgot to repreat the hub oven, so I'm going to turn it to 150 degrees. So ours is a fan oven, so it usually takes less time to um, heat up and cook. Okay, once you've done with this, you can chuck it in the bin. I use coconut oil, um, some sort of fat, so you can use butter, ghee, homemade ghee or coconut oil. I usually use coconut oil, I use coconut flour and coconut oil. I quite like the taste of it. And it says softened in the book, but um, I just find that I just don't do that much. So you need a quarter of a cup, so the smallest size cup of coconut oil. I'm just going to get a spoon to scrape it out because it's hardened up with the cold. No, I just dropped some on the floor. Okay, so now I've got my coconut oil. It's round about a quarter of a cup, it's quite hard to, to get. I'm just going to put a little bit more in and pick it up on the floor and chop it in the bin. Uh, so now I've got my cup of quarter of a cup of coconut oil, so it's not quite there but it'll be alright. I'm just going to put that in with my mixture with the spoon that I used. Always useful. Uh, yeah. So like so. So now we've added that I'm going to put in the eggs. So it says three eggs in the recipe from the recipe in the book but I'm actually going to use four because the coconut flour absorbs um, absorbs the moisture so you need to add in like another, an extra egg to make it the right consistency so I'm just going to get a cup and put in the eggs which I didn't actually get out and I'm just going to break in four four eggs I'm going to use two three and four. Now these can go in the food bin. And then I'm going to add these to the mixture here. Uh, and then give the mixture a stir so it binds together. The coke, cause, Because the coconut oil is not that soft, um, you just might want to give it a little, a little boost. Um, so I might have to whip it a little bit. Just make sure it's mixing well so I'm just do mixing it in you can see coconut oil clumps in it take it off the spoon Another egg. maybe not actually when the coconut oil comes out it will help it um, come together unless you know it's all right yeah, so there's but as it goes in the oven it melts anyway so it will melt and uh, taste nice okay so you can soften the coconut oil as well if you wish I just don't don't really do that because it will get soft in the oven anyway and that's quite nice that's a nice consistency so now you want to get your bread tin so that you want to get your bread tin which is here and um, just put the mixture in I usually put a little bit in to begin with I'll just drop some on the side and then make sure it gets to the corners so I just use my fingers just to go round like so and make sure it gets into the corners and then add a little bit more in make sure it gets to the other corners make sure it's kind of flat on top as well so our oven's preheated and then just put the rest of the mixture kind of on top-ish. 
doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. You can add in fruit, you can add in um, seeds, nuts, cheese, and like anything you would you want. Um, and it's grain free and gluten free, which is always good. Just keep going until all the mixture is in. I'm just pressing it down a little bit as well. So I'm just going to make it flat on top, just so it has a nice crisp edge. Just make sure you get all of it out of the bowl. Or as much as you can. Okay, right, this is done. So, I'm just going to set a timer on my phone. Actually, I'm just going to wash my hands. So I'm just going to set a timer on my phone for half an hour. Then I'm going to put it in the oven. So 30 minutes timer. I think she says for about an hour. It says for about an hour in the book, but our oven's pretty quick. So I'll do it for 30 minutes and then I'll check it. So the timer here, and I'm just gonna put it in the oven actually. And then start the timer. Right, so just put the bread in the oven and I'll see you in half an hour. Okay, so my alarm's just going off. I'm just gonna stop it. And let me just take the bread out of the oven. Okay, that's not quite done. So I'm just going to show you because it's not quite done. So as you can see it's kind of like a little bit pale. Um, so I'm just going to put it in for a few more minutes. Probably about 10 or 5. Yeah it's not quite done. I like it a little bit more brown on top. So I'm just going to put it in for a little bit more. Uh, okay right. So let's do 5 minutes. At the same temperature. 150 degrees. Um, my housemates here as well, so that's who who nah. really <laughs> Let's put it in for five more minutes. Let's start that one. And five and a half actually, because I forgot to change it. And so five more minutes and see what it's like then. So my alarm's going off again. I'm just gonna check my bed. Oh man, I'll be a bit on the Okay, so it's got a little bit more colour in it. Uh, so I'm just going to put it back in for a little bit longer. Um, so probably about, I don't know, I'll check it in, I might just do 10. Let's do 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Um, check in 10 minutes starting from now. Okay, so I just stopped my alarm and I'm going to get some, get it out again. Okay, that's better than it It's good. So, oh, so it looks a little bit better in colour. Um, which I'm quite happy about. It's kind of like you want like a golden, golden top, golden brown on top. And let me just turn the oven off. So I just let it to cool for a little bit in its case. So this, let's just move this. So this is a finished product. 
So you've just seen the finished product and I would put it in the fridge or in the freezer so you can cut it up and you can put it in the freezer as well. Or I just usually wrap it in tin foil and then put it in the fridge. Um, it just keeps better that way. That's kind of why I do it. So um, I just put it in the fridge and then you're done. And that's how you make bread. So yeah. So thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.